Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and welcome to your first Node.js tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be introducing you to something called Node.js and it's very, very powerful. It's something every web developer, every mobile app developer should know. It's so, so important and so, so powerful. Okay, and um, but first of all, before we dive in, I want to show you around my social media account so you can follow me. Um, you can follow me on YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash c slash brain term org all right this is my youtube channel and when you arrive to my uh, on my channel you click on playlist and you will see so many other tutorials i've done in different fields as you can see this is my channel uh, you can select any of the tutorials and go through it okay and uh, the next one is if you need to contact me Right on the video, you can just add a comment if you don't understand something or you have a question or you can head over to my Facebook page and leave a message. This is my personal Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Dave Ozala and um, you just leave a message. I always respond as long as it has to do with programming or partnership. And uh, I'm on Twitter at a uh, slightly different handle twitter.com slash brain 10 okay and you can always check me out too at twitter.com slash Dave Ozala but uh, this is the one I use more slash brain 10 okay now don't forget to follow me on Twitter and the next one is um, I'm on Instagram okay so it's the same thing instagram.com slash Dave Ozala you can always follow me I make um, some interesting uh, video tutorials on Instagram okay I make a whole lot of quotes too so uh, follow me on Instagram all right that being settled let's get right back to Node.js okay so what really is Node.js Node.js is a server-side platform built on Google Chrome's JavaScript v8 engine it was built in two it was built in 2009 Node.js was developed by Ryan Daw and um, the definition of Node.js as officially supplied by uh, Node.js site is Node.js is a platform built on Google Chrome's V8 engine for easily building fast and scalable network applications. Node.js uses event-driven non-blocking I.O. model. That, that part particular portion, the non-blocking portion means that a block of code must not finish running for instance your function or something must not finish running before the next one starts because um, Node.js uses all APIs in Node.js is built in such a way that they make use of something called callback okay so the first uh, block of code is running Node.js um, jumps and they starts running the second block of code while the first one is still running and then Node.js jumps again and start running the third one and so on and so forth. Whenever each of the each of the blocks of code finish, they make a call back to the server, to your node server and tell it, hey, I'm I'm true, what next should I do? Okay. So it's very, very important. It makes it very it makes it lightweight and efficient and perfect for data intensive real-time applications. Example of real-time application is your chat, text chat. Uh, another example is video chat, audio calls over the um, server. Uh, Node.js is just perfect for search. And uh, with Node.js, you can build servers, all right? So it's very, very important. And then Node.js has some very key features that will, that makes it very, very vital in um, web app development and mobile app development too. So Node.js is asynchronous and event-driven. All APIs in Node.js library are asynchronous that's just um, what i just explained about non-blocking uh, next one is very fast like i told you node.js doesn't wait for something to, a block of code to finish before running the next one so that makes it very fast very fast okay so the next one is that although it's single threaded it's highly scalable um, you node.js uses a single threaded model with event looping event mechanism helps the server to respond to a non-blocking in a non-blocking way and makes the server highly scalable as opposed to the traditional servers which create limited trace to handle requests okay so the next one is it's uh, there is no buffering in node.js and um, it uses mit license 
All right, um, there are some topics we'll be covering in this tutorial. At the end, you will master Node.js, and it's, it's quite small, very, very small. Uh, if, you are, if you are smart, you can uh, cover Node.js in two, three days. If you're lazy like me, it could take you like um, five days to one week, okay? So I'll just list out the tutorial, the, the topics. We'll be, covering, we'll be covering topics on Blogger, Streaming, DNS, Domain, Global, Net, Error Handling, Modules, console cluster add-ons buffer callback and crypto okay then um, there are some places important places to use um, node.js uh, like i mentioned especially in data streaming applications applications that stream data okay like video calls audio calls you know chats real-time stuff and um, applications that are real uh, data intensive also it's good for JSON API based applications. As you can see, this covers um, most of the um, tricky stuff or technical stuff that uh, that you do online or when you're developing a web app or, or something. So that's it. Node.js is very, very um, interesting and powerful. And all, all you need to run Node.js is one, you download the application, and two, you, you have a text editor. All right. I believe if you are if you are going through this tutorial, you should have at least a knowledge of uh, of programming, uh, the basic if else statements and stuff. You should know them. And uh, if you have uh, worked with JavaScript at all, it would be a big advantage because Node.js is built on JavaScript. Okay. Uh, most of the things we'll be doing here is just uh, pure JavaScript. Okay. And um, that's just it. You you install Node.js and you have a text editor. That's all. All right. I believe you know what a text editor is. So to install Node.js, you visit the Node.js.org uh, website. This is the URL. And um, as you can see, we have two links to download stuff. This is the latest version, and this is the earlier version, which is 4.5. And as you can see, this is the recommended one. So you download the recommended one. After downloading it, it's just the, the normal uh, .msi file. You just install it like the regular software, uh, accept all defaults, and you're good to go. All right, and um, let's just do a hello world in Node.js. After installations, you just come to your um, start menu, and um, you come to your start menu and look for Node.js. So I'm going to search for Node.js. No, no JS. Okay, so I have my no JS there. I have my I type node and I have the command prompt. This is what I'm looking for. So you click on it and it opens up. All right. So um, we we need to convert this into a text editor. To do that, and uh, you just type node and hit enter on your keyboard. And uh, this now functions as a text editor. If node is installed correctly on your system, this is what you will see when you type node. Okay, so the first thing you want to uh, do, we can say console.log. If you have coded JavaScript, you'll be familiar with this guy here. We can say hello world from partner and friends. Okay, uh, there we have it. So hit enter. As you can see, hello world from partner and friends, and undefined is very normal. Okay, which means uh, our node is installed and running perfectly. So in the next tutorial, we'll see how we can code JavaScript in a separate file with a text editor and enjoy node. So thank you very much. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And uh, see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to head over straight to my YouTube channel and um, hit on the subscribe button so that you'll be uh, you'll be alerted when next i make tutorials thank you see you bye